Welcome, Red Knight. Hello and good evening. If you could please subscribe, that'd be great. We're trying to get to 50 subscribers, Twitch and YouTube, before uh, birthday coming up here soon. If I could put the end credits little thing in screen at the beginning of the video, I would, but YouTube only lets you put that at the end, so keep it up in the stream ending stream for now. That's okay. And we'll get to a little micro short stream tonight. We'll get to chapter 424 here. And if we have any few minutes left over after that, we get some Diablo 4. Which is kind of annoying. It's on ten dollars extra sale from when I bought it originally on a Halloween. Now it's already another extra ten bucks off. But oh well, we'll make up for this couple of, uh, potential gift subs later. Hope you're doing well. This fine, terrific Tuesday. Not much time for things today, sadly. Uh, off stream or on stream, but we'll look forward. Good fun, busy times tomorrow. So we got the checkers going strong. We probably won't get to an hour to add to it tonight, but we'll consider it fair enough. Three days. Technically four, but <clears throat> if we don't get full enough long stream, we don't really need it. We'll get to a big uh, music accompaniment tonight. Not really necessary, so that'll be fine. Anyway, be doing good. <laughs> I'll chat with you soon. And let's go ahead and begin. We left off with uh, Danny and the plane. The microplane spiraled down, its wing broken, its cockpit empty and landed in foam slick near the beach where it vanished. Been out of breath here trying to figure out how many push-ups did today. Catch up, I think it's at least 60, but it's hard to keep track sometimes. <laughs> it's a busy day. On to chapter 44, Diamond Head Lighthouse, 31st of October, 11.45 p.m. Last few minutes of uh, Halloween here. <laughs> Finally we're going to November 1st, huh? Anyway, Rourke dozed for a while, but awoke when he became aware that Danny Minot had not returned from the privy. Time had passed. The fire had burned down. He got up and hurried down the tunnel toward the privy. Danny wasn't there. The redoubt was a sprawling warren with many unused tunnels. Perhaps Danny had got lost in a tunnel. 
Rourke went into a side tunnel and called, Mr. Minot, you there? Nothing. Another tunnel yielded silence. The R then Rourke noticed air moving in the tunnel. The hangar. He ran to the hangar and found the doors open and a plane gone. He closed the doors, then woke Rick and Karen. Your friend has gone. He took a plane. They weren't sure what had gotten into Danny. Perhaps he had become frightened, gone into a panic with his arm in such bad shape, and had decided to fly to Nanogen on his own. It showed more courage than Danny seemed capable of. Maybe we should fly out and try to find him, Karen suggested. Rourke forbade it. He's gone. The wind could take him anywhere over the island. And he said it was too dangerous to fly after dark. The bats were out. It's almost suicidal. Danny might already be dead, and if he survived the flight, it wasn't clear how he planned to get inside Nanogen. It doesn't make sense, Karen said. Sheer panic, Rick said. Then Drake sat in his car. The beam from the lighthouse swung around above, shining through the branches of trees overhead. The moon washed the scene with silver. What a beautiful world it truly was. He felt almost placid. He was high above the world, walking on a tightrope and doing it well. A black pickup swung in and parked next to Drake. Drake got out and climbed into the truck. He explained the situation to McKeel. He's in the air. He knows a cure for the bends. He's going to tell me when he lands. Then, McKeel asked. Drake didn't answer. He put on the radio headset and began calling, staring upward toward the mountains. Daniel, Daniel, are you there? He heard nothing but a hiss of airwaves. He turned to McKeel. Watch for his running lights, red and green, very small. What are you going to do with the kid? McKeel asked. Drake ignored him. Wind's blowing from Tantalus. He should be here any minute. A car swung into the parking area. Drake snatched the radio off his head and stared. Check it. McKeel edged closer to the parked car and swung a couple inside and saw a couple inside getting friendly with each other. He told Drake there was nothing to worry about. Drake resumed calling, but with no answer. Cars passed, and the lighthouse beam circled many times. The couple in the parked car went out of sight. The two men stared up into the sky, trying to see any lights against the backdrop of stars. Little Danny was lying, Danny remarked, Drake remarked. About what? About a cure for Benz, lying to make me save him. Ha! They listened for the whine of a microplane. Don McKeel saw that the wind was blowing pretty hard. If they didn't see the kid, he'd get blown out to sea. Drake removed something from the trunk of the sports car and placed it in the back of the pickup truck. Then he said, I'm giving you three more shares. Now you've got seven shares. That brings your net worth to seven million. The security man grunted. Then he said, what do we do with the kid? Question him. Drake tapped on the radio headset. It could communicate with microhumans. After that, Drake didn't reply for a bit. Then he leaned against the pickup truck and slapped his palm on the metal. Gazing into the sky, he murmured, The bugs are bad tonight. I see, McKeel said. The two men watched a while longer. McKeel backed up a few steps, moving alongside the truck, and glanced at the object Drake had placed on the bed of the truck. It was a plastic fuel container. He could smell the gasoline. Drake called some more, finally ripped off his headset. Mr. Minot had an accident, or he changed his mind. He got into the pickup truck and handled the key, handed the keys off of his sports car to Don McKeel. What do you want me to do with the, your car, sir? Drop it at Nanogen. Take a taxi home. Drake started the truck and it roared off on the Diamond Head Road. As he watched the headlights disappear, McKeel shook his head. That is it 
for chapter 44. On to chapter 45, hopefully on the morrow. See how schedule looks. It's either uh, too busy or just not enough time for things. We'll see. Get to just a few minutes to Diablo 4. Check it out. We haven't played uh, since the last time. Really. I haven't really been playing it off stream either. And it's a little annoying that went 40% uh, off when it was only 25% off when I got it. But what can you do, you know? Corporate greed, they capitalize for Black Friday somehow more than Thanksgiving, even though it's more of a horror type game. But yeah, we're not getting any uh, hardcore characters today. But we'll still check it out. Let's see how it goes. So let's check it out. Onward. Give it a little go here. See what we can do. Is that any welcome schedule screen later? Maybe first chatter we can show that again. Celebrate the uh, emote variation as well. Let's see. Got Emerald, this is the hardcore, almost lost him actually, fighting the bosses of the little vampire. Seasonal area, it was rough. Let's see about these other ones later. For now, let's just get back to dusk. And the main campaign, we'll put in headphones next time. Do more active commentary right now, I just don't really think we have much time for it, so it'll be fine. It's a nice quick chapter, huh? Not too much. <laughs> Just little, yeah, things in momentum moving forward. Uh, accelerating action. Who have we got here? Look at these silly guys. Yeah, I know about um, the servers or the issues it's having, but Dusk. It's funny people. Greetings. Let's see how we're doing here. I'm play this a couple weeks. It's Hello. been a while. Follow me. Potential clan mates, at least. To get some more, been a while. Damn, that's most I've seen at once, except like events and things. Clan, 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 and good for now. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm just so bad hardcore, like the menu's even freezing. You see my lay sand, that's one thing, but just going to different menus, freezing the game for upwards of 10 seconds sometimes, that'll get you killed for sure. I don't know what to think about that. That is definitely rough. I'm trying just to get it to load here. Oh, I do have a new member, it looks like. That's fun. Someone on World of Warcraft will get back to Warcraft 3, perhaps. I have a good achievement. I was thinking of a hardcore PvP, so we can even do that. That's hard enough just <laughs> off it right now. Yes. All right, let's uh, speak with Reverend Mother. <coughs> Guess the easiest way to get there. Yeah, that's beef. Not in town. The audio bug doesn't seem too bad currently. It'd be nice if they fix that. I'll have to manually fix it every time. Let's 
this do? Oh, that's on the asylum. I thought I did that last time. Is that... Yeah, I just did that. Oh, wait, I'm telling him after the fact. Never mind. I destroyed the spirit of your son, but he possessed a deep hatred for you. Well, be blunt about it, why don't you? Yet I still feel him. I still hear his cries. I will never be free of the truth. I sent my sweet boy away for a sin of my own making. The blood is on my hands. All of it. Heavens above, forgive me. I must go visit my son. Remind me a shadow of war here with all the snowy mountains, caps and such. He's good for now. I don't know what abilities he has, but a while. So he played in the first place. Yeah, I've got to do something about these <laughs> menu freezing up. That is rough. And it still shows Season of the Malignant. Isn't that weird? Just when it pops in there. Let's go class reward. 55. Oh, so. Yeah, let's see. It's nice to show us your character if you have it. It's pretty interesting. So, the default stock character, right? 800 ping, very nice. Listen carefully. I haven't much time. One of our men, Lord Evitus. Was held in the ancient city beneath the mountain. We carried his body to the ossuary, but he rose, thirsting for blood. Only I escaped. <coughs> Please, you must slay him. Your death shall be. It will be avenged. Your death will be avenged. The classic. I've seen this one before. Yeah, that looks new. Oh, yeah, I guess I've done a little bit of this. I do on the horse a little bit, but I see that. Remember my load out here, it's been a while. through the stealth when you're on there. Oh, I guess not. Okay. I'm out of energy. Seconds for that last one, kind of be. Oh, wait, that was the last one. Good. I need more time. Slay the remaining enemies. Yeah, I actually did get the road quest for. Oh, man, these menus. I was trying to check the character, I pressed the wrong button. Probably dead because of that. Wow. Look how it just much it freezes up. I don't know what's causing that. It's not an internet thing. Ha! Huh. Lucky thorns damage or something there. I don't know how I survived. Okay, so we do have preparation now. That was just unlocked at a level. Every hundred energy you spend reduces your ultimate skill cooldown. Resets the cooldown of your other skills. Wow, that's pretty good. This one is nice. I mean, it's unlimited, but yeah, preparation I think is, is the best one. So we'll go with that. 
I like the concept of that. Little items. Nice, no more identification. Yeah, I'll probably get more Diablo 2 and 3 on stream just because it's so rough. <laughs> Playing on better internet would probably make a big difference. For a 1500 stream, we'll look forward to some Diablo 4. Right now, yeah, I just can't even open the menus. I don't know what's causing that. Probably internet based because it's online. Direct damage to vulnerable enemy. Chance to daze them. Yeah, let me see if these gloves are better. No, those are no old gloves or something. Alright, good enough. Get our helmet. That's better, yeah. Murmuring obols, have to spin those. <clears throat> Next time, probably. Alright, let's carry on here and get to the quest. I don't care about all the small game here. Frame drop exploded too is probably just the Wi Fi. Or the game too. <laughs> probably the game is having issues. Ah, I haven't found this before. Bear Tribe Refuge. Let's see what you have here. Can I meet your chieftain, or why was the Bear Tribe come to these lands? Our chieftain heard the call of the ancients, and so we answered. Our destiny awaits us beneath the mountain, and no man or beast will stand in our way. Nice to get some more dialogue. I've been skipping a lot just on the exploration mode for off stream. So, can I meet them? You want an audience with our chieftain? Earn it. Bring some Slay soul. our enemies. Hunt the Khazra of the Ice sure. Clan who stalk this mountain. Ooh, ice. Break their bodies and bring their shattered bones back as tribute. Then, maybe the chieftain will acknowledge you. Check out some more dialogue here. Have? Pretty fun. I use her daggers, but no, oh, well, be fine. Check it out, you know. We display these trophies to honor the ancients and guide their wisdom to us. The skulls remind me that death is always close at hand. There's for your own. <sighs> there is one skull I'm saving a place for. That of a goatman we've named Caller the Collector. It hunts north of here, openly feasting on our fallen. Caller has challenged us. Were you to bring me its damned ugly head, you would gain great favor with the tribe. Leave it to me. Our purpose remains clear, but our spirits are low. Baltok, the chieftain's champion, was recently slain. Now the Khazra are in possession of his weapon, the fabled Grizzly's Maul. It is difficult to ask this of an outsider. Please, reclaim the hammer from those foul beasts. Leaving it in their hands is an affront to our fallen champion. He was last seen being dragged into a cavern in Malnok. Hmm. <laughs> 
New stronghold, we'll check it out. That is uh, their dialogue things, extra bit. It's a good place to leave off. As well, short stream here is 25 minutes. But we got to a micro chapter. I think that was a good quick one. We can come back to Diablo 4. Before long, too, since we're finishing up first playthrough of Baldur's Gate as well. Hope you enjoyed. Let's uh, pick it up here very soon. Get a lurker up to chat with you soon. And we shall see what's next here. Very shortly. Got to be lovely. All right, till next time, have a good night. See you soon. We'll be back. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip, there's a way. Where there's a whip, we don't want to go to war today. Good night.